In Droid Alive Tic Tac, we already talked about the Titan Chronos, remember? If you don't, you can watch our video again. Now, today we'll share with you the story of his son with the Titan Ezria. The god Hades, one of the Olympic gods from Greek mythology. His name comes from the word Aides, which in ancient Greek means the invisible one. As you know, Cronus feared that Uranus' prophecy would be fulfilled, which said that one of his own sons would dethrone him. That's why Cronus would eat all of his descendants, and Hades was no exception. The one in charge of rescuing him, his brothers, and the other victims by the hand of Cronus was Hades' brother Zeus. Remember, his mother hid Zeus as soon as he was born to save him from being devoured. Hades and his brother Zeus and Poseidon fought against their father and the other Titans, and were victorious in a war known as the Titanomachy. Hades had a unique weapon, an invisibility helmet forged by the Cyclops, which made it easier for him to defeat his enemies. And thus, Hades and his brothers took control of the universe, and during the distribution of powers, Hades assumed control over the underworld. This is why many considered Hades an evil god, and although in reality he was very fair and just, everyone feared him. Because of this, he would be alone most of the time without any company, as nobody wanted to live in the underworld. To remedy this, Hades kidnapped Persephone, daughter of Zeus and Demeter, the goddess of agriculture and fertility. Some writings assert that Zeus gave her daughter's hand in marriage to Hades. However, all of the writings agree on Demeter not knowing about that, she would never allow it. One day, while Persephone was picking flowers on an island in Sicily, she was kidnapped. Demeter became so enraged after hearing the news that she punished the earth, plunging it into a never-ending winter. She searched and searched for her daughter, but nobody could help her find her. The fields stopped yielding crops and people didn't have anything to eat. This went on until the goddess Hecate realized they could ask Helios what had happened, as he was the embodiment of the all-seeing sun. Helios then revealed to Demeter where her daughter was. Learning about this disaster, Zeus sent Hermes, god of ingenuity, to bring Persephone back. Hades would not retaliate directly against them, as he feared what his brother could do to him. However, Hades still made sure that Persephone would not leave him. All he did was offer Persephone six pomegranate seeds. She ate them, and when she did, she became eternally attached to the underworld. Because anyone who ate any food in the underworld would automatically become eternally attached to that place. Despite this, and to avoid escalating this conflict, Zeus managed to convince Demeter and Hades to reach an agreement. Persephone would spend half of the year in the underworld and the other half with her mother on Earth. And that's how the ancient Greeks explain how the seasons came to be. While Persephone is in the underworld, Demeter plunges the earth into winter. And while Persephone is on earth, the fields yield crops and life blossoms. Many myths mention that Hades was Macarius' father, the goddess of peaceful death. He had two known lovers, the nymphs Luz and Minth. They both were victims of Persephone's jealousy, transforming them into the silver-leaf poplar and the mint plant. The art that depicts Hades usually shows him with dark features as well as short hair and beard. Sometimes he appears with his invisibility helmet, almost always with a scepter or bident, as well as the key to the underworld. The three-headed dog Cerberus is Hades' loyal companion and guardian, and he also has a carriage pulled by dark steeds, dragons, or other monstrous beings. The cypress tree, the daffodil plant, and the black sheep are consecrated to him. Just like it happened to him when he tried to get a wife, Hades' powers led him to be reflected throughout history as something he was not, an evil being and a tyrant. Any story that takes place in ancient Olympus depicts him as a villain, being Disney's movie Hercules a clear example of this. Have you seen it, Tic Tacers? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!